In the heart of a bustling city, where the neon lights painted the night sky and the streets hummed with life, there lived a man named Oliver. He was no ordinary man, he was a great showman whose name was synonymous with wonder and entertainment. Oliver's passion for the world of performance had ignited in his childhood when he saw his first circus act. The acrobats soaring through the air, the jugglers defying gravity, and the clowns evoking laughter had left an indelible mark on his young heart. From that moment on, he knew he was destined to be a showman. As he grew older, Oliver honed his skills in various art forms. He learned the art of magic, mastering tricks that left audiences baffled and amazed. He studied the art of storytelling, weaving tales that transported listeners to far-off lands. He even dabbled in music, mastering the piano and violin. But it was in the world of the circus that Oliver truly found his calling. He joined a traveling circus troupe and quickly became known for his daring stunts and captivating performances. His tightrope walking was a breathtaking sight, his fire-breathing left audiences in awe and his ability to tame the fiercest of lions earned him the nickname The Lionhearted Showman. Oliver's circus shows became the talk of the town, drawing crowds from far and wide. His performances were more than just spectacles, they were immersive experiences that transported the audience to a world of fantasy and wonder. People left his shows with their hearts full of joy and their imaginations ignited. But Oliver's ambition knew no bounds. He dreamed of creating a show that would surpass anything the world had ever seen. He envisioned a grand carnival, a place where the extraordinary was ordinary, and the impossible became reality. With unwavering determination, Oliver set to work. He scoured the globe for talent, assembling a troupe of performers who possessed unique and mesmerizing skills. He designed a dazzling array of tents and attractions, from a maze of mirrors that played tricks on the eye to a towering Ferris wheel that offered a bird's-eye view of the city. The night of the Grand Carnival's opening arrived, and the city was abuzz with anticipation. As the first visitors stepped through the entrance, they were transported to a world of enchantment. Acrobats danced among the clouds on suspended swings, contortionists bent their bodies in impossible ways and jugglers spun flames into mesmerizing patterns. But the centerpiece of the carnival was a massive tent where Oliver himself performed. With each act, he pushed the boundaries of possibility, leaving the audience breathless. He made elephants disappear, walked through walls, and even tamed a majestic white tiger, all while donning extravagant costumes that sparkled like stars. The carnival's success surpassed even Oliver's wildest dreams. People came from all corners of the world to experience the magic he had created. But Oliver knew that the true magic lay not in the tricks he performed, but in the smiles he brought to the faces of those who attended. As years passed, Oliver's carnival continued to flourish. It became a symbol of wonder and inspiration a place where people could escape their everyday lives and rediscover the joy of imagination. Oliver's name became legend, and his legacy lived on through the generations of showmen and performers he had inspired. And so, in the heart of the bustling city, where neon lights painted the night sky and the streets hummed with life, the name Oliver became synonymous with the extraordinary. He was the great showman who had brought magic to the world, proving that in the realm of dreams, anything was possible, and wonder knew no bounds.